We've always liked gold uh, for a number of reasons. Uh, you and I could go out with a gold pan and a shovel and we'd be buying, uh, mining gold. It's metallurgically usually quite simple and it's easy to sell. Uh, so we like it for that reason. That doesn't mean that we're bullish. Uh, but at the same time, at the moment, uh, gold looks to be an excellent place to be with fear and uncertainty starting to creep into financial markets and a great deal of uh, investor interest coming into the metal. So I think short to medium term, um, that's an excellent place to be metal wise. There's some interesting things in the market as far as uh, other metals, new world metals like lithium, uh, graphite, things like this. Um, they're a bit harder to read, particularly in terms of understanding where you can get an offtake and what the risks are around selling some of those things. But uh, you know, interesting spaces. Gold is the, uh, the go-to for me at the moment. I think some of the bulks are going to continue to face some serious headwinds. Iron ore, uh, there is a huge amount of supply in the market at the moment, and uh, I think everybody is talking about how demand for that is, um, is still on the decline. It's certainly not on a substantial growth trajectory like it had been. Uh, for times in the last 10 years. And coal, you know, is facing headwinds being on the nose for climate change uh, issues and things like this. Whether that necessarily precipitates a shift in how energy is generated, I'm not sure, but uh, there is not a heck of a lot of interest uh, around for it, so prices have dropped. Uh, alongside those challenges, look, you know, for a very long time, iron ore and coal uh, tended to trade in uh, a pricing band which was you know, fairly well understood leading up to China's emergence. China's huge demand pushed those well outside of those ranges and I think what we're seeing now is those coming back into those ranges. So you know, probably the norm in the future is going to be thermal coal sales to local and uh, close by power stations rather than a global market for it, which we saw develop in the last uh, sort of five to ten years but is certainly not a historical norm. And iron ore, I think, probably falling into a trading range much more like it, what, what it was pre uh, the 2000s uh, is something that we should be expecting more of rather than less of. Well, look, the, the lithium market's a fascinating space. Um, right through history, uh, the development of world economies, we've seen disruptions, if you like. So the invention of the motor car put paid to uh, local shops um, and big, centralised malls uh, where things could be sold at lower cost um, and in more volume became uh, quite viable because people could drive to them from a long way away. Now we're seeing a similar disruption as uh, the internet has taken hold and uh, the way that we power things uh, similarly I think will be changed um, from the advent of cheaper and smaller battery technology. So lithium has an enormously important role to play there. What the price will be, I don't know. Uh, that's a very difficult one to assess at the moment, particularly because it seems that lithium is not a rare or uncommon mineral and deposits of it um, are cropping up all over the place as interest grows. Um, the other thing that we don't understand about lithium is what makes a good project. There are a few around which appear to be good projects, but when something appears at an early stage, it's not nearly as easy as judging a good iron ore project or gold project, for example. Much better understood in the, uh, the world commodity markets what is metallurgically attractive and what is attractive from a marketing point of view in terms of selling concentrates or selling a product um, and getting to that product uh, and all the eccentricities of processing along the way. So we're at an earlier stage of understanding that. Um, that introduces risk. It doesn't mean it should be avoided, but at the same time, it's something which investors probably need to pay a fair bit of attention to in their assessments.